Welcome back to AM Northwest. With the change in administration, there will come changes in everything from taxes to domestic relations. Here with how you can prepare for retirement going forward, we welcome back from Swanson Financial, David Swanson. David, always good to see you. So will there be changes and will they affect us? Yeah, I, one of the things I want to talk about today was just the majority of phone calls that we've had in the last two weeks. You've gotten a lot of phone calls. We've gotten a lot of phone calls and um, most of those phone calls have been from uh, women. And um, we have a lot of women that have come to our workshops or, or that are clients. And a lot of same-sex uh, couples as well are, are calling. They're very concerned about what's going to happen to them going forward because pretty much about everything we've seen in the past is going to be different going forward. Um, and if you're getting close to retirement, there's some things that you really need to be, I think, aware of. Uh, that are really going to affect females going forward. So that's what so we're really saying. we do need to re-examine what we're doing, how we're saving, how we're not saving, how we're investing, all of that. Absolutely, and um, the risk of the markets going forward, I think, and what's going to happen is is greater than ever before. And we've we had a great run in the market in the last um, with the last administration, and now we've set all new highs since the election. And there's only one thing we know for sure about the stock market um, is that it never goes up forever. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting close to retirement, you need to be very cautious about what your exposure is to um, risk and making sure that your money is focused in the safe side as well as in the uh, in, 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 in proper proportion between risk and safety. You say it's time now to be proactive. It, it, it really is time to be proactive. And, and I think one thing that's really important, a change that just came about on Friday, this new legislative change, is that the um, Frank Dodd and uh, the Department of Labor fiduciary rule have both they're under fire. They're probably going to be changed. The fiduciary standard is a standard that was supposed to roll into effect in 2000, uh, in April of 2017. And what it did was it set a level playing field for all advisors in the type of advice that we we're supposed to give um, our uh, clients. You're supposed to put the client's best interests before you say anything, before you make uh, a uh, um, make any advice, any recommendations, and that's a, a standard that an independent investment advisor, as we are, have been adhered to since the beginning. I've been an advisor for uh, independent for um, over 20 years. Um, but it's, it amazes me that we need to have legislation to say that it's important for the advice to be in the best interest of the client. You would think it's a given. <laughs> it's a given. So, but this changes it to mean that it doesn't necessarily need to be the best advice for the client. That's exactly what the rule was supposed to do, and it looks like it's probably going to be either rolled back or eliminated. So what I say is that ask your advisor, please, if they are a fiduciary, if they are not personally and financially re responsible, and putting your best interests in front of the advice, maybe it's a good idea to seek a second opinion from somebody who will do that. Okay, what other changes do you see that will really affect us? Well, um, what I think we're going to see is that um, on the Social Security side, for sure, people need to really focus in on what options are available. And um, the female um, has a tremendous number of choices that um, really the, the man doesn't. And the reason I say that is because we, uh, we burn bright, but we burn quick. So mm -hmm. we pass away or we're, we're divorced, we're discarded. And so the female is on her own in making these choices. Well, a lot of the rules that um, were changed in November of 2015 uh, were preserved for the single and the divorced widowed female. And so if you're not taking advantage of those, um, you are missing out on what your retirement income could be because you need to take money then out of your IRAs, out of your other right. savings account to supplement what Social Security and survivor or divorce benefits would be giving you. Okay, we have a number of questions from viewers, so we want to get to those questions. So I, I tell you what, we're going to take a break first, and we'll come back with those questions from you. We'll be right back. We're back now with David Swanson of Swanson Financial, who's answering some of your retirement questions. This first question says, my partner and I are close to retirement. We both have great concerns about what our new future is going to look like, uh, financially speaking. What might you do for us? 
Well, the first thing that you need to do is look at all of your options. So um, we offer free workshops for people to come and just get an idea, first couple steps of how you plan and what you need to do to figure out how to make the right steps with Social Security, pension claiming, and uh, your investments. Uh, if you'd like to attend one of our workshops, please give us a call and we'll do that. But the most important thing for everyone is to get organized, make an inventory of everything that you have, and make sure that you're making good choices with what's available for your future. Because once the time has passed for you to make a good choice, it's very difficult to go back and, and, and undo that situation. Uh, next question. We own a small business and are both retiring in two months. All our plans seem to have changed with the election. How best can we ensure we will not run out of money in retirement? Boy, we have a lot of business owners that we work with. We, uh, we work with them as they retire. We work with their uh, pension plans or their defined contribution or 401k plans within their companies before they retire. Um, this is another fact where you need to list out everything that you have and figure out what you're doing best. Sometimes small business people believe that you know all of their retirement is in their company. So the idea is we're going to sell our company and someone's going to pay us money for that going forward. Well, the person that you sell that business to, they may not be as diligent at working at it as you were. And if you're planning on them paying you money over a period of time and they don't run the business as well as you thought, you may have a real problem. So evaluating and selling your business is very, very important. So I suggest people to get very solid professional advice before they do sell their practices and go forward. I, I was hearing on the radio this morning <laughs> that the um, stock market is doing really well. Mm -hmm. But does that mean the average in individual will do really well? Well, who's doing really well are the corporations. And if you own stock in those companies, you're going to do very well. The, I was reading also that the, the banking sector um, is up almost 16% since the election, which is a phenomenal move. Uh, the banking sector has been under a lot of pressure in the last years because of the legislation that is put in place to really slow down the growth of that industry and to regulate it to keep it in line with what past administration rules want. Well, those rules are going to be erased or, or loosened or relaxed and which allows um, institutions to operate in different ways than what they were planning. The industry has been gearing for a year and a half on this fiduciary rule. We have changed so many things. They've implemented flat fees. They've changed commission schedules at most major brokerage companies, all in anticipation of that. Now, whether they switch that back or they um, keep it the same way it is, we'll have to see. But some of the changes that have been made I think are going to stick and they're really good for the consumer. Um, but just beware um, that um, markets do not go up forever. And if you think they are, um, you just need to look back in history to see about some of the big swings in, in, in uh, stock market prices. We've mentioned the workshops, which would be a really good idea. Yes. This last question, or one question here is, I've been watching you on AM Northwest for some time now, ready to retire. Can I call you directly to schedule a meeting? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and people call, Helen, from the show, a lot of people call. And um, we've had more calls, like I say, in the last couple of weeks than we've ever had before. Um, workshop is a great way to go. Call me directly. We'll help you if we can, get you to where you need to be. And what's important is to be organized and focused and make sure that you don't run out of income going forward. Absolutely. If people would like to find out more, you can contact Swanson Financial at 503-603-9900. We'll put a link from our website to yours, David. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it.